Journalism is the gathering, reporting, the dissemination of news and information uh, in, in the public interest. For, and, and it covers almost everything. Now it used to be that we could always tell who a journalist was because there are traditional views about uh, uh, who is a journalist. And journalists have been identified as being people either who are working for a media organisation, working in a, a, the, the, formally in a job of a journalist, or someone who's been trained specifically and uh, gone through a college education in journalism, so they've got some sort of qualification. Or journalists have been identified as people who are members of a professional association or a journalist union. And so these have been the ways in which we've been able to identify journalists in the past. That's not so easy these days. Today, thanks to the internet, we've got much more sort of participation in the work of journalism and in journalism itself by people who are not uh, falling into that tra these traditional categories. Uh, but it's important to say that although the broad spectrum of who is working in journalism, um, and it may involve people who do blogging and, and, and other things, uh, although you might say the door is open to far more people being engaged in journalism, that does not dilute the importance of standards and quality in the work that's being done. Many more people today may not be journalists, but they do commit acts of journalism. And it seems to us that we have to bring them into the conversation. We have to make them part of our discussion about the future of journalism. Uh, and we have to ask ourselves whether or not these people also deserve the same protections that are available to traditional journalists and people who have hitherto been regarded as professional journalists themselves.